Okay, let's have a look at this question. What do we have here? Okay. Amritpal, a retailer dealing with mobile accessories, okay, bought a total of 43 items that included power banks, earphones and USB cables only. The price of these items is rupees 800, 400 and 160 per item. Also, the number of power banks bought was less than the number of earphones. Find the number of USB cables he had purchased if the total amount he spent on the purchase was 18320 and the number of earphones purchased was not a prime number. Okay. Let's see if we have more space to solve this. Yes, they've given us one more. So, uh, I can start here and move there if it is needed. Okay. Amrit Pal, a retailer dealing with mobile accessories, bought a total of 43 items. Power bank, earphone, USB. So, power bank plus earphone plus USB is 43. Also, price is given. So, 800p plus 400e plus 160u. It is the price for each of them when I look at it. Okay. Find the number of USB cables he purchased. The total amount spent is 18320. So, 00, zero to con. 8 will go. So, 8 will go here 10. 8 will go here 5. 8 will go here 2. 8 will go here 2. 23 that's 2 72 that's 9 so I have 10 P plus 5 E plus 2 U is 229 what do we need number of earphones purchased okay so uh, what do what more do we have? also number of power banks was less than earphone P is less than E <coughs> okay so if I multiply it by 2 I have 2 P plus 2 E plus 2 U is 86 subtracted 8p plus 3 so 100 goes so 129 plus 14 143 so 8p plus 3e is 143 keep that in mind so from here you can even say p is equal to 143 minus 3e by 8 right or you can say minus 3e plus 143 by 8. So e will change by 8, p will change by minus 3 is what we need. Let's see values of e and p that we can get which will satisfy. Uh, any value first to see if it will satisfy. If e is 1, then this becomes 140 which is not divisible. e is 3, then this will become 134. If e is 5, then 15 will go so 128 yep es5 will give me ps14 correct p is 14 14 is a uh, no it will not give me it will give me 16 yeah 16 is a 128 and 5 15 15 120 lovely now i know p has to be less than e also p moves with minus 3 so i can give 13 and 13 check 13 13 should satisfy 39 so 104 13 so 13 13 is satisfying then e will once again move by 8 so that is 21 p will once again move by 3 so that is 10 so p 10 80 80 and 61 uh, sorry 63 that is 80 so i can get i can get earphones at 21 par P at 10 because both can't be equal 13 13 if I reduce further then this will become 7 and 20 sorry 7 and plus 8 29 which is not possible then 4 and 37 4 and 37 37 and 4 yes that is also there find the number you had purchased if the total amount and the number of earphones purchased was not a prime number oh but earphones can't be a prime number so 37 is not possible 29 is not possible and then the it is 45 and 1 if it's 45 plus 8 if 
earphones is 45 but if earphones is 45 and total number of items is 43 this is not possible so the only possibility is 21 and 10 if it's 21 and 10 then u will automatically become 43 minus 31 which is 12 so the answer is 12 so basically you have to check for each of those values i didn't need the second slide to check for each of those values to ensure that that doesn't happen and prime number helped 